Okay, here I am a purchaser on my home page and I'm going to go click down on my most useful tile which is the overview page. Now an overview page gives me a series of cards based real-time insights into my business domain and because I'm a purchaser naturally I see cards relating to purchasing. I can reorganize those to help with what I'm thinking about and if I see something interesting it's very interactive just rest my cursor to see say the exact value and if I want to drill to see more detail, I just click on it to drill down. This, by the way, is actually taking me to another app that I don't need to think about. I'm going to another app. I'm just seeing a bit more detail and I can now play around with that. So instead of seeing it by trend, maybe I'll see what happened with the material group across that quarter. Interesting and get a little perspective on it. OK, and now if I want to, of course, I can change the chart type because maybe that'll just make it a little easier to read. OK, and here also, if I'm a numbers person, I can just move to a numbers only view and I can even export the chart, uh, the, those numbers down offline, which can be useful if, for instance, I need to share them with some stakeholders or uh, take them along to a meeting. OK, and now I'm just going to back up to my overview page so I can keep coming backwards and forwards from my overview page all day if I like. Now, if someone asks me a question, I don't want to see the whole picture. I see I want to focus down on that particular area. So if someone asks me about youth bikes, I can just filter down on that material group and I don't even need to remember the name of it. It actually suggests it for me. I get a chance to change any other values. And as soon as I press go, all of those cards are now focused on that particular material group. Here I have what we call a list card. It's got a couple of sub filters. So I can see if anything's held up in approval. No, it's not. OK, so the one that I've just been asked about, maybe it's one of these overdue ones. And I could drill down on a particular card or I could even see a bit more data, just resize the card. Uh, and just to show you how flexible this is, if I just move things around a little bit, you can see here I can draw it out and resize it horizontally as well as vertically. So here now I'm actually going to click down on the card header rather than a row because this will give me a complete picture of what's going on and I want to just see what's happening generally. Um, okay, so here I can see that the filters from the overview page have been passed through, which is useful. And I can also see it again as a chart or a chart on a table or as just a table. And I can also play around with what data I'm looking at. So here I want to see this by order status. What's going on here? Um, was there a problem perhaps sending some of the orders? Uh, and sure enough, I can see here are some orders sent and not sent. And once again, I can adjust the chart type because sometimes just uh, changing the chart type gives you a little bit of a different perspective on what's going on. Okay, um, so you'll also notice that when you're in these views, like a chart and table view, the whole thing is very interactive. So I can once again get details just by resting my cursor on a uh, column, but I can also click on a column and all of the rows underneath are filtered just to what's relevant to that column as well. So everything is very consistent. And once again, as before, I've got options such as exporting this to spreadsheet or seeing it as a table only view. Now this is possibly my most fa favorite feature. This is what we call a list of links dialog. So once I've seen enough, um, and I want to actually act or if I need to go and see something from a, a different perspective again, here I can jump to anywhere else that's relevant to this purchase order. Now in this case, I'm actually jumping into a GUI transaction. So you'll see this navigation approach works not just, not just from Fiori app to Fiori app, but even from Fiori app to GUI or to WebDimpro or Web Client UI or wherever. Now here I can use the same approach if I need to see more detail or do something with the related material or even if I need to do something with the supplier. Now the list here is controlled by configuration and authorization and I can also change which are my most favorite links, the ones that I use over and over again. Here I'm going to have a look and see columns in this table. So I'm going to look at, OK, can I adjust this table to help my train of thought to understand what's going on? Yes, I can. Of course, I can just drag and drop a column. And I can also add all sorts of uh, columns here or just reorganize the column. I can even sort it, group it. I can even do hierarchical groupings if I wish. 
anything that helps me sort of understand what's happening and decide what I want to do next. Now in this case I'm just going to drill down on this particular row and see what's going on with this individual purchase order item. And here you can see I get a whole picture of the purchase order item and I can see all the details related to it. And let's just go straight down to the bottom. Ah, here's a little purchase order flow diagram and here's another place where I can, following my train of thought, go to anywhere else that I want to go to as soon as I decide to act. Now in this case I'm just doing a quick scan of what's in this purchase order item. Okay, and it seems okay, so let's go and have a look at the purchase order itself and see what's happening there. And now at this point, if I've decided I want to change something, well, this has an edit button, so of course I can edit in place. And you can see here, just to have a look at what this looks like in edit mode, you can see here it's nice and clean. I can see quite clearly which things are mandatory with the little red stars. And I can see what's going on. And once I'm finished, I can press the logo to return to the home page.